Do you want your iPhone to automatically answer your calls? Well, you can do that with iOS 16.4. Of course, you could do that even before, but now you can set up anytime you want to automatically answer calls or maybe locations or maybe a focus mode now this is one of the 10 automations that i will show you guys on this video that are new to ios 16.4 this is one of them right here so i can choose anything i want here from the list maybe a location or maybe a time of the day or any of my focus modes. So I choose the focus mode, tap the next button right there and go ahead and add an action and search for auto answer calls. And once you find it, tap on it and you can choose it on. So when you're on that focus mode, auto answer calls will be enabled automatically. You tap the next button, disable this, tap on don't ask, tap done and you're good to go. With iOS 16.4, you can now also set airdrop receiving. So let's say I want to turn on airdrop receiving automatically when I arrive, let's say at work. I can do that by pressing the plus button right there, tap on create personal automation, and then I go ahead and tap on arrive here and choose the location. Once you're done with that, you tap the done button, tap on next here, tap on add action and search for set airdrop so they will have set airdrop receiving and when you go here you can choose everyone for 10 minutes or contacts only now of course everyone for 10 minutes will be turned off automatically after 10 minutes but it will switch to contacts only so i prefer you choose this then tap the next button and tap done and you're good to go Nowadays, we have all kinds of different apps on our devices. So let's say you have an app that always when you use it, you want to turn on your VPN. iOS 16.4 will allow you to do that. So you don't have to worry about forgetting that or maybe doing that manually. You can do that with an automation. So you tap the plus button and create personal automation here and then choose the app. So I can go ahead and choose any app I want here. So let's just choose an app and tap the done button then tap on next and search for set VPN. So there we have set VPN, you tap there and where it says VPN, you tap here and choose of course your VPN and then tap next. Make sure you have this disabled so it runs automatically. Tap done and now you have created that automation. Now you can use this feature, the set VPN feature, even for Wi-Fi networks. So let's say when you connect to a certain Wi-Fi network, you don't want your device to be without a VPN turned on. Well, you can do that as well. Tap the plus button here, create personal automation, and then choose here Wi-Fi. Choose the network from the list here. And once you choose the network, you tap the next button right there. And again, search for set VPN. And of course, search your VPN here, select your VPN, tap next, always tap down there. And now you have created that new automation that will connect to VPN automatically once you connect to a certain Wi-Fi network. There are a lot of people that actually prefer turning off their device at night. So if you're one of those people and you want to turn off your device while sleeping, well, you can do that automatically with iOS 16.4. All you have to do is, of course, create a new automation tap there and of course tap on create personal automation choose the time of the day so let's say like at around like 11 p.m we want to do that so let's just do that tap on the next button and then go ahead and right here search for turn off so it's actually shut down but you will find it will turn off as well choose right there shut down this device tap next disable this and you're good to go. Your device will automatically be turned off at that certain time that you choose. Now, iOS has a pretty cool feature called Night Shift that will basically help you see the screen of your device way better, especially at night time. But if you want to use that feature all the time for certain apps, you can now do that with iOS 16.4. So let's say you want to use that feature on apps that you use maybe to read something, maybe something like the books app, where you can do that, tap the plus button, create a personal automation, and then again, go ahead and choose app here and choose in this case, the books app, tap on done and then go ahead and search here for night shift then we have night shift make sure you have that switch right there at on tap the next button disable this as always and you're good to go 
With iOS 16.4, you can also create an automation to silence unknown callers. So if you don't want to have any unknown callers calling you, you can silence those and they won't show up on the screen of your iPhone. And you can do that maybe at any location that you want or a certain time of the day. So let's say during the night, of course, you don't want to have anyone disturbing you. So you want to do that. Go ahead and create a personal automation here and you can go ahead and choose time of the day here. So you can do that with sunset, sunrise, or just choose a certain point, a certain time of the day, then tap the next button and search for silent unknown callers. So there we have it, set silence unknown callers, tap on there, and of course make sure it's on and always disable this and you have now created that automation that will remove unknown callers from your phone at any time of the day or any location that you choose iOS 16.4 will also let you create automations that will announce your notifications. You can do that fairly easily and of course it's very very convenient. So let's say we have a focus mode that you use maybe when working something so you don't want to take a look at your phone and read the notifications. You can have your phone read them for you simply by tapping the plus button right there create personal automation and let's just choose here in this case I have editing this focus mode that I use while editing my videos so i don't have to reach out for my phone i can have my phone read my notifications so just choose here basically tap here on add action and search for announce notifications so that we have set announce notifications tap on it of course turn on right there next disable this and you have that created now your iphone will tell you about your notifications without you having to read them now the next one is pretty cool. I did make a dedicated video about this. This one will allow you to lock your device when someone opens a certain app. So let's say you give your phone to someone, but you have an app that you don't want anyone to have access to. When they open that app, your device will immediately be locked. And then of course they will need your passcode or face ID in order to get into the app. This is how you do that. Tap the plus button, create personal automation, and then go ahead and choose app here. And of course, make sure you select the apps that you want to lock here. You can select any apps you want. You can come back to this automation, go to this page and actually unselect the apps if you want to remove from, from that list. Then tap next here and search for lock device. So there we have it, lock screen, just like that. And it's pretty simple, always disable this and it's done. And last but not least is a pretty useful one for the security of your device and your data. You want to make sure that when you leave home, you always have your device locked. The way to do that and make sure that 100% will happen all the time is by tapping the plus button right there. So if you're someone like me that doesn't enable auto lock on their devices, you actually need to set this up. Tap on create personal automation and choose here leave. So anytime when you leave, the location by choosing it here you can just go ahead and have your device locked simply by searching here lock screen and there we have it tap on lock screen and you're good to go anytime you leave your house now your device will automatically be locked so you're sure that your iphone is always locked with your passcode or face id so that's basically for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one